Mr. Math here, thanks for watching my videos. Be sure to like and subscribe and remember to click the bell icon to be notified of updates. Hello again viewers, welcome back to Let's Play Shantae Risky's Revenge. We're here in Barren Desert. Barren because it belongs to the Ammo Baron, but also barren because, you know, deserts are kind of barren places. First thing I'm going to do is go through the Battle Tower again. Current record, 156 left on the timer. Telling me the rules again. Let's go. three minutes, and you want to get to the end with as much time left as you can. I don't think I'm going to beat my time. That's what I'm doing. But I don't want to beat my time. I just want to get back to the top. what other treasure they have hidden in here. Oh! Darn it! There we go. At least I'll get a health refill here. And time refill as well. Dead. And now, come on, jump. Okay, at least I'm getting some health refills on. At it, come on. Even though I'm taking damage, it's being healed right away. How fast did that happen? going pretty fast. And this segment again. Okay, I'm probably going to do this again at some point. This isn't going to be my last time in the battle tower. 
because once I get more powerful spells and whatnot. Once I get more powerful abilities. I can murder enemies even faster. Don't go that way, you jerk! Ouch. Oh man. That one took forever. Okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna beat my time, but I don't really care about that. Magic Jam! Yay! Let's just get out of here again. Yes! I wanted another Magic Jam, that's for sure. Looks like we got a winner! Enjoy your prizes and come back soon! Eh, it will be a while before I come back, Barracuda Joe. I will eventually, but it will be a while. I was down a little bit of that power. Actually, I don't know for sure that those big hearts are full heals. I think they are, but I could be mistaken. don't have that power yet. Well, 
question is, where to now? Fortunately, I have the answer to that question. And that answer is, back to Tangle Forest. So, back to Tangle Forest we go. And look at all those gems I have. Wow, 700. Wait a second, what's that desert monster guy doing? been in here yet? I think I have. What? What? What exactly hit me there? I didn't see anything hit me. you reach this part of the game, the monsters get replaced. Because now I'm seeing all of these different monsters. It used to be just Nagas here before, and now it's Nagas and Bats. And in the next area that I just came through, it's the pumpkin-throwing scarecrows and those big desert golem guys. Using my magic. Ah. Okay, she dropped a heart. That's good. Whew. Okay, that was a rather hard trek, actually. The import room lady used to work at a bathhouse. I miss that place. <laughs> yeah, that bathhouse was useful. Full refill on all life power. I'm certain that the Squid Baron stole three of my precious magic jams. Blah, blah, blah. We already saw her say that. Dagnabbit, I left my other town to escape the Ammo Baron. Looks like I may have to move again. Huh. Make sure you have the three basic magic types. You never know when they'll come in handy. So some people say some different stuff. My heart weighs heavy like my jug. This town, the town even smells worse. It smells worse than what? We, we are now a military town? If they start raising us kids to be deadly assassins, I'm going to use my power to combat the evil that has taken the stranglehold on the town. Huh. Dream no small dreams, kid. When Risky Boost returns to rule over us, I'm planning to switch sides. Hey, it's survival. Ah, I don't begrudge you that. By now you've probably seen some pretty big boulders. They're scattered along the path outside town. I wish there was some way to just knock them aside. Ammo Baron's the new mayor. You can kiss the dance costumes goodbye. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Hey, they're both here now. Have you been to the forest cave? It has a locked door inside. Perhaps I'll tunnel in there one of these days for a look-see. Of course, it would be much easier if we had the missing key. Yeah, we're never going to find that. 
Boulders, golems, even fire-breathing statues. They're all made of stone. There must be a way to smash them apart. Hmm. I'm sure there is. Who changed the dock manifest to say Ammo Town? Is this a joke? Actually, it kind of is. My mom dressed as the pirate lady for dad, but I'm not allowed to say such things. Well, too late. You broke the rules. You'll be punished. All this excitement is making me sleepy. Yeah, it does kind of wear you out. You get all stressed out, and then you just need a nap. We should rub bellies. It's lucky. Uh, keep your hands to yourself, dude. Sky is in here, isn't she? Yep, here she is. The monkey dash and the elephant stomp. You should search the desert high and low until you find these special relics. It may be impossible to advance without them. Okay. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I've been wondering exactly where those were because I couldn't remember. She says they're in the desert. But, first, let's see what we can get here. Three magic jams. I could get better silky cream. Or the better version of the three spells. Normally I would go for silky cream. That's what I would usually do. Since hair whipping is my main, you know weapon. But I'm gonna go for the upgraded spells this time. Okay. Flamethrower. Yeah, that one... The first two versions of the spell just throw fireballs across the screen, but this one is exactly what it says, just a stream of flame coming out of your hands. The flamethrower. Kids love it. <laughs> That's an obscure reference these days. I wonder how many people even remember the movie Spaceballs. Spaceballs, the flamethrower! The kids love this one. Anyway, Super Pike Ball. Two deadly orbs of destruction. The Mega Pike Ball. Three spheres of ultimate suffering. Misty exterior hides explosive passion. The Mega Puff. Persistent damage with maximum range. So to get the next levels of the spells, I need two magic jams each. So yeah, that's pretty expensive. And let's buy more of these. these. Okay, so for everything else, either I'm maxed out in my inventory, or I can't afford them. So yeah, I have the level 1 and 2 spells. uses up magic quite a bit faster. But, you know, it hits harder. Hmm. I'm still not sure what the import room is for. Maybe I should look it up online. Powerful artifact exists which allows a monkey to dash over large pits like a speeding bullet. Yeah, I definitely want it. What does everyone else say? Okay, so I think that was the last person who I hadn't spoken to. 
Oh, here's a little girl. I'm changing my name to Ammo Baron Jr. My mom protests. Yeah, I think your mom has a good reason for protesting. Okay, let's go ahead and save. And now, out we go. How about these guys? Did they say anything different? I wonder if the change of ownership of the town will affect my job. Yeah, I have to admit, that is a reasonable concern. I enjoy standing, that and looking. Well, apparently that's what your job involves, so good on you. Sometimes I fall asleep when no one is looking. How do you know if you're not looking? Every time I see a monster, I kill it. Usually in the most brutal way I can think of. It's the best way. Alright then. Back through lilac fields we go. Already got that treasure chest. We're ready to go. Oh, these guys are even here now. your punishment for hurting me. And you guys are being punished for not giving me hearts. Heal me up. Ah, never mind. What was in here again? Ah, that. Can't get it yet, but hopefully soon. your purpose. And... Alright. Might as well use the save spot while I'm here. Now then. Right here is our destination. And now we have the key, so... Ha-ha! What have we here? 
Who approaches my magic fountain? I sense a restless energy deep inside you. Channel your passions and allow the magic to take shape. You got the elephant dance. Simply hold the dance button and then release it during your second belly dance move to transform. The elephant dance will allow you to smash away obstacles. To change back, press the dance button. May fortune follow you in your troubles. can already do the elephant smash. The elephant's kind of slow and can't jump very well. Um, that's not what I wanted. Here's what I wanted. But... Push the dance button instead of the attack button. Okay, attack button! Oh, oh come on. Yes, where to? Who are you guys? No need for alarm. Shantae, right? The chick with the brain? From Scuttletown? Yeah, she's the one little sis is always running at the mouth about. You guys are Roddy Top's brothers? Yeah, she mentioned she was traveling around with her brothers earlier. Yeah, that's right. Abner Cadaver, the oldest. And this year's Poe. We're here because we've got a proposition for you. Like? <laughs> yeah, Shantae is, um... Well, not expecting very much. Like, we know your next stop is the Hypno Baron. His Oceanside Fortress is, impreg is impenetrable. There ain't no way you're breaking in there without our help. It's a labyrinth that bores deep into the seaside cliffs. It's filled with tricks and traps. Very, very dangerous. Our offer is this. We get you in. In return, you gotta brew us some coffee. Are you serious? Dead serious. <laughs> yeah, because he's dead, get it? <laughs> you know about wild brain-eating zombies? A strong cup of joe is the only thing that separates us from them. So do it. You don't want to be there when Sis's eyes roll back and she goes freak show on you. Gonna need a coffee. You're going to need a coffee machine and some fresh coffee beans. Oh, and I like mine with a little rotten egg mixed in. <laughs> well, I know where to get a rotten egg. We saw one way back in the first episode. <laughs> Drop it off at the old boathouse and we'll hook you up with a way into that labyrinth. You got all that? I hear you, but I seriously have to do a coffee run. You ain't gotta do it. But good luck getting inside the Hypno Baron's digs if you don't. Abner and Poe, yeah. That's really the one weak area of this game's story, how Abner and Poe just kind of appear there. There's not really any logic to it. 
I suppose the game developers couldn't think of a better way to introduce them. Like, maybe if they could have come up with some way to get you to go back to Roddy Tops' caravan, her wagon, then you could have met them there. But, eh. I guess they couldn't figure out a good way to make that happen, so they just decided, oh, we'll put him here. Understandable, but kind of chintzy. I do wish they could have figured it out better than that. Let's see. No, this isn't where I was heading. There's a rock some... Yeah, ha, here it is. Treasure chest up there. Um, darn it, there's an enemy coming. Fine, I guess I have to go through the slow way just to be safe. Holder, yeah, hey. Yeah, this is, as I've said, a very short game, so there's only three heart holders to find. It's, I've already found two of them. Only one more in the entire game. Alright, so I know where the coffee maker is, I remember that much. And I know where to get the rotten egg that Poe wants. Coffee beans? I'm not too sure about. But I'll bet it involves using the elephant transformation. Alright, now I gotta go up. <laughs> All right. Nope, this is not doing. There we go. Another magic jam. Hooray! I still haven't found the story items I'm looking for. But, you know, just keep searching around like this and you'll get them eventually. Ah, you jerk. So far, so good. I don't want to go that way. Right, where exactly am I? Right, I'm on the second layer there. Okay. And I've already checked both sides of the third layer. I wonder, is there anything to check in the area back towards the chef's hut? I don't remember might have to go check just to make sure. Well, anyway, let's just head to the... Keep heading to the back. So this should be the warp squid. Yeah, the warp squid. That guy can wait for later. I'm not done in this area yet. Now, I believe I've already gone all the way over here. Yep, already been here. Okay. I 
I'd really appreciate it if some of you guys would dro start dropping hearts. jump pad. Where's the jump pad that goes further back? That's the one that goes forward. Here's the one I know. Heart? No. Dumb little spider. Smash me! Well, sorry, fella, but needs must. <laughs> so this is a much more dangerous part of Lilac Fields. And you can see there's a new kind of scarecrow enemy here purple one that breathes poison smoke, along with the same old ones as before. And there's this as well. Ah, right. I can't go through here yet. At least I don't think I can... Mm, no. No, I can't. If I if I try to jump over to the wall on the right to reach the part that I can hold on to, I'll hit my head on the notch in the middle and go down. So, yeah, I can't get through here yet. Whoa! God. You found a broken coffee machine! Well, that's fantastic! I can make broken coffee! Yep, so you have to come in here. It's story required. Now let's head on back to the chef's hut and see if there's anything over there worth going for. I don't remember for sure. There might be a big destroyable rock. And yeah, I want to save now that I found that coffee machine. Don't want to lose that bit of progress. Well, you know, while we're here, Probably some jars with hearts on the inside. Yep, there we go. All healed up. Aha! I did not remember for sure. So I'm glad I came to check. Oh dear. Oh, man. 
Ah! Darn it! I went down too quickly and hit the bottom. beans. Okay. <laughs> I honestly did not remember where these were. Okay, so you have to come in here. And now to get back, let's go the easy way. <laughs> Only lost half a heart. Big deal. Is there anything else back here that's worth going for? the coffee beans was all. Ah, the lingering smell of kitchen spatter. Don't run off again, Wobble Bell. Come here, boy. Oh, the poor deer has not noticed yet. Let's not tell her. to the uh, teleportal. Because I want to go back to town. Actually, uh, we will do that, but in the next episode, because we've reached the end of this one. Viewers, thank you very much for watching Let's Play Shantae Risky's Revenge. In the next episode, we will see about getting those two moves that woman in Scuttletown mentioned. We need the monkey bullet, and we need the elephant stomp. We do actually need them, at least in my opinion. And yeah, we're going to see about getting them in the next episode. Later!